Hey folks, I got with me here a 6000 XP from EG4 Electronics and I wanted to open it up and show you some of the insides and why we went with the choices we made when we designed this unit. So let's go ahead and break it open. First of all, you're going to need a screwdriver. Unlike the 18K PV that has latches on the side, this one has screws that bolt in and keep the frame on top of the breakers. So let's go ahead and open that up. Alrighty, now that we got all those screws taken out, we can go ahead and pull this top down and then up. We'll see we have some breaker covers on the front that are actually labeled as to which breakers they correspond to. And on the inside here, we have this protective sheet to make sure that, you know, it's not super easy to just accidentally touch, you know, the, the components and, and, and electrical stuff that's going on. Uh, that's mostly a safety thing, but then of course we have our breakers here front and center battery breaker 200 amp we have our grid load and Generator breakers which are 50 amps a piece as well as we have our two PV inputs now each of those are 4,000 watts a piece so you're going to get 8,000 watts total of uh, PV input into the system here on the terminal board, we have many connections that are essential to the off-gridder's use. Of course, the generator dry contacts, you want to make sure that your generator auto starts when you're low on battery. That gives you a seamless switch over and works wonders. Now, we also have RSD terminals on this board that allows you to remote deactivate your system if you have that setting enabled. And of course, we have a remote power supply if you have something like RSD for your panels or maybe a Tygo CCA to keep that active and have optimizers on your system. And over here, of course, we have our parallel ports for wiring your inverters together. If you have multiple in a system, that'll give you that much more power. And of course, we have our battery comms cable, which we find to be very important. Closed loop communications is a massive benefit, especially to an off-grid system which is generally sized to be a lot more smaller and min-maxing of the components in the system. You definitely want to have closed loop if possible. And as you can see on the bottom of the 6000 XP, there are a bunch of knockouts that of course have plenty of room to run all of your wiring, and they link up perfectly with the conduit boxes that we provide with the wall mount series of batteries. The 6000 XP has a 12240 volt output, which is what Americans most commonly use in their system, along with 60 hertz which is also what the inverter defaults to. Now it can run three phase output if you have multiple inverters and it can run two lines of a three phase system, which is 12208 with just a single inverter if it's configured properly. The 6000 XP was designed with the off gridder in mind by taking countless customer feedback as well as previous system builds and crafting the ultimate off grid solution without breaking the bank. Stay tuned for a demonstration of our 6000 XP's prowess by subscribing and hitting the notification bell to be notified when we go live with future content. Make sure to like and leave a comment down below if you have questions you'd like for us to answer in the next video. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.